Uh, hi guys, uh, back again. I uh, thought I'd do a reasonably quick um, a video on uh, Euro style uh, cylinders uh, for Australian applications. Um, I think Gary, Gary Remain made a comment about it, so I thought, you know, got a bit of time on my hands, so I'll just do a quick video uh, just to show what's out there in the Australian market. Um, uh, and just a disclaimer, too, all these you can see are actually what I come across on a daily basis. So, I mean, I'm not to say that there's, I'm on, actually, I know there's actually more variations of Euro cylinders out there. Uh, larger, longer ones and uh, different keyways, but I just deal with uh, domestic, so and yeah, like commercial. So anyway, uh, start with this one. Uh, these are all lazy cams for all these cylinders, except that one there. But I'll, when I get to that, I'll show you that one. Uh, this is the old school uh, lazy cam. This would have been back. Well, they're still indoors now, in screen doors around Adelaide and Australia, no doubt. Um, uh, operating screen door locks, probably more so the old early version Tasman one, uh, or the previous uh, design before that, with the um, yeah, I haven't got one handy to show you. Uh, yeah, so that's what uh, that old uh, brass one was for. It's still out there being used. Uh, yeah, the, you can recam quite easily. Just got to use your obviously yeah. Euro pinning jig, so. Uh, this one's a wafer type block. Uh, it's very small, uh, as in length. Uh, these are pretty popular on screen doors in, in Australia. Um, that one's exactly the same. The only there are difference is that the different profiles. Um, um, that one's a little, LF27, double sided. Um, profile uh, that's the LF24 that's the, oh excuse me hiccups uh, that's the most proper uh, profile for wafer lock yeah uh, lazy cam cylinders in Australia LF24 uh, they come in sure, LF43R I believe and LW3 profiles but exactly the same just different profile key profile uh, so, but that's the most popular one, LF24. Um, you can rekey them, but I don't bother. It's a, for somebody who's got 10, 10 wafers, like two wafers per chamber. So, and it's yeah, just time consuming, and I won't, I won't do it. What I do, I always carry three uh, these cylinders key like. And if I come across a rekey at a house when they uh, when I uh, rekey these type of cylinders, I'll just change them out. Uh, take theirs and uh, put in what I have um, and just charge a minimal fee. Yeah, but uh, to rekey them, no, you know, pff, I couldn't be bothered. It's just, yeah, too time consuming. And uh, you've got to use a, um, probably file them anyway. Unless, yeah. you, could use, you could use a code machine, but not for the double sided one. I don't think there's a code card out there for it. But I could be wrong. Um, yeah, no doubt, the card could be wrong. So. Um, this one's the Austral, uh, yeah, wafer, five five wafer, uh, lazy cam. These are more popular on the Austral uh, lock sets, screen doors. Um, some of them have actually behind there and that inside of that cavity is a spring, like a you know, lock spring or locator spring, keeps that cam in that position for the function of the lock. Any problem with that? I mean, you've got to take the door furniture off to get the cylinder out, which is no big big, big deal, but. Yeah. Anyway, that's that one. That's an Aussie Oz one. That's one profile. Uh, this one's yeah. Again, a lazy cam. But this is actually uh, yeah. IP3 restricted. Uh, don't have a key through it. Um, so it's basically a paperweight. Uh, uh, anyone out there has got an IP3 key and they want to. Yeah, cylinder to key up and for the collection or whatever. Needs a good clean though, but yeah, just give me a give me a yield, you can have it. So he's throwing it in the bin. Uh, again, again, it's a lazy cam. This one's a, it's a Gainsborough. Oh, it's a brother 
uh, brand. Um, but it's on the GE, uh, TE2 profile, Gainsborough. Because a lot of uh, new housing um, are using Gainsborough products on their main doors now, and uh, people, yeah, they want to get uh, keep the same key for convenience. We just uh, put these cylinders in for them and uh, re key them to their key. They're not re keyable from the top, you've got to use your Euro uh, jig and uh, take the circuit clips out, and, which is no big deal. That's fine. Uh, yeah, with the lazy cams, uh, these are specific for the design for screen door lock applications only. Um, this is just a mortise lock. Uh, you couldn't, you can't use this. Well, you can use it, but you, the only function you'll get is just uh, latch, latch uh, retraction. You won't get the lock, the uh, the bolt retra uh, throw the bolt at all because of the. Uh, that's as far as it's going to go with the key. So, so these are not. not you can't use them on a, this type of uh, mortar slot. Uh, this one's a fixed cam. Um, that, that's it. That cam's fixed permanently in that position. Um, and it operates directly with the key. So you're getting full rotation all the time. Um, reason being, so if you're using that cylinder and the, that mortise lock set, uh, see that. Yeah, you get uh, latch retraction and you get because it's, it's rotating all the time on permanently um, you can get double throw on a bolt like such so, yeah so that's what the fixed cam uh, euro style cylinders are for so you get mortise lock applications where there's a bolt involved um, yeah, and that, that works on the most applications um, on that, you know, the mortise, sit on the mortise, the protector series, that's fine, that's a heavy bolt, these are a good lock actually, yeah, they're architectural, they're, once they're fitted that's it, they've specifically designed for a one fit off, um, but you can get retrofit locks to suit, but you have to scout them, scout around to get them. Uh, yeah, talking about Gainsborough. Yeah, not a, not a great fan of Gainsborough, but anyway. Yeah, that's why well, I'll take it out. Um, uh, that's a Gainsborough um, mortise. Um, yeah, again. It's pretty large, I can't, you can see my hands compared to what, it's a pretty large lock. That again, that takes a uh, fixed cam Euro cylinder. Um, see the bolt there in my hand. Sit on in the correct way, orientate it. So I'll do it there off camera, by the way. I can't do it through the camera. Yeah, so it's a yeah, double throw. Uh, this is brand new, by the way, it's sitting in the bloody box. But, um, Bloody grotty, here's a good clean. Yeah, anyway, that's yeah, that's the uh, idea of the fixed cam for the uh, mortar lock applications. Um, the lazy cam, they're basically, like I said, they're for Australian uh, screen door applications or patio screens, uh, lock sets. Uh, uh, the Witco, that's the uh, Yeah, 
here yeah, it's a patio uh, screen door uh, lock set um, that would go with that that lock set or the uh, wafer top lazy cam either or either it's, um, it's a problem when you open the box they never go back where they where you take them out so. <laughs> anyway I'll do that later um, yeah, screen door, Tasman 2, these are the ones I love, these Tasman 2, they're so, they work on the A, you know, the KISS principle, keep it simple, you know, yeah, I guess, at, at the end it stands for, um, yeah, these are the ones I use 90% of the time, um, unless it's Tasman 3, triple lock, then you got to go with the, the uh, Tasman 3 to do a retrofit, but, Tasman 3, I don't use them, don't recommend them. They're absolutely bloody terrible, I think, anyway. Especially for older people, because they're a really harsh, harsh lock set to operate with the key, the mechanism. Uh, it wouldn't worry me, but I've been to places where old people, you know, especially when they're fragile, it's, it's yeah, they struggle. So I don't, I don't recommend, I don't fit them, uh, Tasman 3. I'll stick with these. This is the latest, the latest version, Lockwood. Uh, screen door uh, lock set. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Got much crap on the bench. Um, yeah, at least these run off it. Um, like a hook type system, as opposed to the you know, the um, horizontal latch flick. So yeah, these are quite good. I like these. Uh, but this is the uh, most, yeah, this is the current version from uh, Lockwood for screen doors. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'll fix that later. I thought I'd show you this one. This one's a yeah, bit of a bit of a historic piece from uh, back in the day, Lockwood, on the screen doors in the 70s and 80s. Uh, you can tell by the wear and tear. But yeah, this is on the screen door. I mean, it's got two brass oval cylinders. Um, uh, yeah, it's probably I don't know, 30 plus years old, and it's still. Oh, it needs a bit of a, a bit of a spray with some Ronex or Tri-Fly, but yeah, it locks and uh, does what it's supposed to do. But uh, yeah, I love the old school stuff. It's uh, yeah, it's just chunky and just tough looking, you know. Um, anyway, that's a bit of a history lesson there on the uh, old Lockwood uh, screen door lock. They're still around, not many around though, but they're still there. Um, yeah, I hope that will make sense anyway. Uh, yeah, with the actual Gary mentioning length. Um, yeah, they the length. Uh, 67.7 mil is probably the average uh, length for a you know, screen door application. Um, obviously, some are a bit longer. 75. That's that uh, IP3. Um, yeah, what a 51 mil on that one. Yeah, so 80 mil. Is, is, yeah, that's a six pinner. So that's probably the, the ab longest you're going to get in a, a fixed cam uh, cylinder application, Euro style. But there are, you can get obviously much longer ones for really um, heavy, thick door applications. But I don't deal with them anyway. They're architectural, so I'll just stick with the, what I deal with day to day. Um, yeah, and the five pinner, yeah, 72. Roughly 10 mil, uh, sort of difference between the two. Um, oh, one more one. Uh, this one here. This is it's a Euro style cylinder, but it's actually off a tri lock, a uh, tri lock um, Gainsborough uh, entrance set. Uh, and they use them for uh, their deadbolt applications too. Um, but, um, yeah, that's nothing to do with screen doors. That's just, I was just showing that just for the sake of. 
showing up to for what it's for um, for the games, but try lock and uh, dead bolt applications. Again, try lock games, bro. Not a fan. Never have been. Never will be. Uh, overpriced, over engineered, and I think like Dr. Locke said, um, you know, getting the parts is a, just a hassle, and uh, you know, the cam towers alone, you've got to, they're bloody expensive. Uh, so yeah, I'll stay clear of them. Uh, I don't fit them. I don't recommend them. I'll stick with what I know, either Lockwood and uh, Barada, Carbine or whatever. But Gainsborough, yeah, they're a no-go zone for me. Anyway, I'll uh, pull the pin on the video and I uh, hope that all makes sense. And uh, yeah, uh, put that one as a book. I can't really show it because it's a fairly big book. But anyway, that's some... Um, that's Traco Architectural Hardware. They, they the one, they're the ones that keep all the long uh, Euro top cylinders and mortise and uh, lever, mortise lever sets. Uh, I tried not to, I'll stay clear of the uh, architectural stuff. It's too much. The pricing's ridiculous, and my supply doesn't stock them. And I'm, I don't, I'm not chasing up architectural uh, lock sets for people. Um, yeah, it's not, that's not for me. I'll stick to what I know. So. Anyway, uh, if you're watching, thanks, and uh, until next time, uh, bye.